the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Good morning and we are back on the road guys we have achieved the gold of reaching the golden triangle one last look at Imperial Golden Triangle Resorts Chiang Rai well it's an enjoyable stay over here it's a great experience Riding all the way up here to the north of Thailand. I managed to get some nice pictures, man. Even you go for a boat ride uh, in Mekong River to all the three different uh, countries, as in from where we are now, Thailand to Myanmar and then to Laos. Now we are heading down south to let me just uh, get my maps in order I want to show you it looks like uh, it's a long way guys it's a long way following our map it's uh, roughly about 500 plus kilometers to Pizana uh, look heading now south and according to our uh, GPS and such, it's coming up to 8 hours and 56 minutes plus minus. Hopefully, we can catch up a bit. See the first stop 164 is already 3 hours. So, we'll see how it goes now. It's uh, 11 30 in the morning. And we're off back down south total uh, distance we have covered 5141 about five whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get my gear in straight, okay. Insects. Okay. One last look at uh, the golden triangle sign, which we managed to take some pictures of. We have the golden Buddha statue at uh, sitting on a boat and then of course one last look at all the statues before we head on out out of uh, Golden Triangle Quiet place lah. Let me check my cam. It's a quiet place lah, guys. Down here, not too crowded. Uh, had a bit of a uh, uh, 
quite a number of Caucasians uh, that comes around here. So it was still okay. They're coming towards the afternoon, we want immigration over here also gets to cross over to Laos side. You can see from here you can see the the Laos uh, uh, casino. Lucky also la, around afternoon time I think all the tour groups were coming in. Uh, so like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, lots of people lah coming uh, coming here just to see the golden triangle taking the boat rides which he also did managed to go up the the hill to one of the temples see some a bit a uh, little bit of history lah uh, opium museum and of course some uh, nice eatery spots man just by the river Like more more uh, buildings are being built you see all the areas have been cleared construction and from here you can see uh, one clearer view lah of Laos side just across the river divided by the Mekong river a small look la, of uh, the right down from here from uh, Golden Triangle down towards uh, Chiang Mai then uh, head further down to uh, Fitsana Look as we follow the riverside from here uh, enjoyable ride lah coming up soon we're going to make a ride following the river to uh, route 1290 for 160 kilometers right for the first petrol station total I guess is uh, three three petrol stations but see how this is the last one because uh, the last one should be near uh, the hotel at uh, Pisana Loop which uh, we haven't really booked this one is a mystery a bit lah you know when we go there then we will see then I will show you because there's no I don't know whether it's just me or uh, because I'm not too sure how to book lah this uh, hotel so we'll just get over there and then we'll ask, ask them see how it goes if there's no place then we have to go further further to find uh, the hotel areas because this one uh, is like right at the mountain side I guess according to what I see so it's really out of the way one but it's an interesting place we'll head over there and check it out or there's some kind of uh, observatory or something hmm. interesting looks like uh. Okay, you can 
see from the signage we got what is Cheng Rai and Chiang Kong which we are heading to Cheng Sin is further up if you want to go explore there is a gas station in case you forgot to palm or riding smaller bike or what uh, you can just palm down here before you head on off towards uh, Chiang Mai area weird one this turn, it puts straight but the right turn cannot never show any right turn let me just adjust my bike a bit looks like we are heading towards some Frenchy bridge maybe if we are reaching there because it shows about another 60 60 plus km for Frenchy bridge, I'm not too sure what's that it's interesting then maybe I'll just stop and uh, take a look now we will continue on for another 160 kilometers of ride okay lah now it's a real, 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 one five, one five plus along the way also like I said again temples it's also quite nice huh? Like, uh, some white power, oh, it's just gate lah, not even a temple also. Okay. Time to go for a ride, you can see it's all the normal roads ready, nothing amazing. Cut it off here. Reaching the PGT, I'll be back. Interesting uh, roundabout, man. Sali kena rerouted. Now we are in some uh, dirt road. I don't know why suddenly that road like much close at that. Oopa, my lorry. Oof, sandy. No wonder it's slower. But that mind still can maintain speed on this uh, dirt road. Gravel to go slow. No wonder it's uh, timing wise this one raba. on the grass ultra green man Woo. interesting way to go man see you can really see the color oh uh oh wow wow temple it's not the grass super green I tell you Yes, out of the dirt road and back to more. Can I just follow this guy because his road is like nicer that. Ha. Okay lah, 
further up is the highway already Become is the off-road ride pula Wah, this one Gravel Hiya Okay No wonder I have to go slow from here Because here is all the Rocky roads then got to navigate through all these uh, rocks, man. Find a suitable uh, flat area. Uh, uh, uh. See, no, I must stick to this one. See, got one line on here. Ah. Here, then, see. Scar confirm never give chance for to let him go first. Then I stick to my flatter area. Yes. Construction roads, huh? Hopefully next time this are all fixed already. Fufu. Ayabusa super adventure also, no worries. Don't cross. Oh, hum. That you turn. Oh. Okay, back to the highway. So one big golden temple Looks nice Okay our petrol stop is uh, another 2 km away Coming about 1.6 plus uh. Okay lah managed to catch up Catch up on the time and now it's coming to 1.14 So this now is about what? 11.30 11 there, right? I guess so lah Left about 11.30 From 3 hours Less than uh, An hour 45 1.50 lah 
see the stock is coming up soon. Half the time a bit lah. Managed to pick up speed for uh, majority of the way. Although got some parts, yeah, had to detour out. Not too sure why some of the roads were closed and all. So now we're going to stop at this uh, PTT coming up here. It's just uh, this one is PT da. The next one I think is uh, PTT. Ah, they are further up. So along the way you can see lah, quite a lot of uh, petrols also. Got PT, got SO, got Shell. So feel free to stop in, in any of the petrol stops lah. Okay lah, usually it is uh, PTT. Now it's coming to one plus lah, so maybe we'll have some some lunch. Uh, what is this? Uh, we got 7 Eleven, then uh, usually got Makan Place one at this uh, uh, PTT station. So you got Cafe Amazon at PTT. So if you're planning to, to have a bit of lunch, don't forget to stop at all these uh, PTTs. Lah. Get my petrol on. Alright. We are here. Pamanadi 95, yeah. Alright. About 200 clicks lah. Plus all the travelling in Golden Triangle. It's time to go back on the road. From this uh, PTT to the next one. It's currently 2.15 in the afternoon. Sun is still uh, pretty high up. Temperatures feels like uh, about 36 like that. 34 to 36. It's hot right man today. This is the problem with day rides. Managed to get the fuels up and looking at another 166. Two hours fifteen, according to the to the GPS, Google Maps. Again, like I said, see whether we can catch up the time because uh, hoping to reach the place where we're supposed to stay before sundown. Fire uh, PTT stop settled. Another one more stop, then we uh, will head on over to Vitsana Loop. Is my cam on? Yes, it is. <coughs> wow, very dry, man. The throat must be from the the many days in the haze of uh, Chiang Mai man Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai area but seems to be much more clearer now in terms of uh, sky uh, air quality oh, like I said it's not a, this is what I don't like about day rides the heat and the traffic night rides yeah, nothing much to see but at least you got the cool air and uh, clear roads. Uh, in a while's time, we're gonna exit Fayao. Should be the next one is uh, Frey or something like that. I forgot what's the thing. What's the name of that city? But uh, we reach there temperature should be going down a bit and won't be sweating the hell out of it I just need to go up to speed get the wind through your jackets and helmet like uh, now of course 
while doing commentary I, I shut most of the helmet then uh. but on the way of course I will open up I will crack the lid a bit get some wind in the face even though it's hot air but it doesn't feel so much see now yeah, even at this speed I can feel not bad when my uh, touring uh, suit it's uh, cool air coming through
Tarit or whatever it's called. Almost to the petrol station, man. 1.5 clicks to go. It's not this one, I hope. Carpentry stuff. Yeah, let's see how all this wood. Wood works. Very interested in getting all the wooden stuff. It's all over here. Then I need to go back up. Oh, in front so I can go. Why this fellow down here? Huh? Carpentry. Then we got our PTT station. Okay, like this part of the this now the starting one was quite quite good like all the the straight straight roads and whatnot. All right, time is about three forty five. Okay, about one half hour lah. Yes, this is one more stop. Then we are reaching a uh, Tana Look after this. Yeah, let's see, I can go in front hall. I go in front hall. All right, 95. Okay, just up the fray PTT station. Woohoo! Had a long ride, guys. All well, the long rides. At least now the sun is blocked by the clouds. And. Huh, gotta get back on the bike. A little bit of stretching. Extra rest a bit lah for this one. It's coming to 4.55. And. Uh, the next one will be quite quite a bit lah. Following the following the route, then I need to cool down all the bikes, cool down the phone, and I need to charge the phone also. Okay, one nine eight for the next one. Again, according to maps, two hours and thirty two minutes. However, this one might be around there from the looks of it. Because uh, it's 198km coming to 200. And then the hotel is nearby. This one is the. the. stop. Which is a petrol stop. Just before the petrol station, uh, as in, uh, just before the hotel, just do one uh, petrol stop, lah. You know, just in case. Uh, depends because uh, once again, not too sure. I haven't booked yet the hotel, so I don't know how it works and and um, also the. There's no way to book lah. I found all the websites where usually you can book uh, hotels and stuff. But uh, this one doesn't show up anywhere. And then there's no link also. So like I said, I'll go there and then okay, I'll check it out. And see how it is. Coming up from... Uh, just now was what? Uh, coming to Frey, wah. I'll tell you, the road shop and 
with all the super long state roads was a chance to blast man uh, he got powerful bikes he got all the straight road uh, this kind of road is the one where you can come and enjoy man enjoy the speed however of course be careful lah because uh, even though you can go quite fast ah, but uh, sometimes ah, got some bumps here and there so hold on to your handlebars man that's why uh, I decided to take a longer break let everything cool down even my phone also uh, says uh, it was overheating a bit so this one's going to be another long one this is longer than the previous two uh, stops which was about uh, 170 160 plus gonna take it easy Ho hopefully before sundown uh, it looks like most likely gonna reach there already uh, will be about 7 plus coming to 7.30 then uh, no it doesn't seem there's any chance of uh, uh, look at this on the strawberries strawberry fields uh, on here Doesn't seem there are any chance of the open straight roads. See, now it's all is uh, bendies. Let me see if I can show you. Ah, okay. Like that, the turns off all the way. So it may take some time for this one. Lah. I may start off slow a bit, then we see how along the way. in Pisanang uh, Lok also it's just a stopover just to get a one day rest then after that you are like, head on over to the next stop let me show you again while we are following this car behind super long way man okay lah look at this some parts like got straight right then when entering Pisanang Lok again all the bunk, uh, the turns here and there So it's same lah, same as uh, some of the videos I show you the turns, see all the way. It just bends, 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 the long bends, all the way. So when we reaching to Pizana Lok, or maybe see anything along the way again, we back on the helm cam. But now. Just uh, go slow and steady. See, we'll reach our destination. 